without Debbie or Ness. <laughs> what? I <laughs> said. Okay. Good evening. This is a regular meeting of the Clay Township Board on Tuesday, January 8th at 6 p.m. in the community room at John W. Hensel Government Center. The first order of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The second order is public comments. Are there any tonight? Not seeing any. We'll move on to the approval of minutes. And the approval of minutes is for the meeting on Tuesday, December 4th. Are there any additions or corrections? Matt? Paul? Didn't see anything. May I have a motion to approve the minutes, please? So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 The next order of business are the action items, and we are here tonight also to elect a new chairman this year for the Township Board and a secretary for 2013. The first order of business will be electing a chairman. Do I hear a nomination? Uh, Madam Chairman, I would nominate Matt Snyder for chairman of, of, the, uh, of the board next year. I second that motion. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 And now we uh, need to choose a secretary for next year. I would like to make a motion for Paul Bolin. Is there a second? I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> and I'd like to congratulate you both. I love being able to sit back and just listen. For once. For once. <laughs> Well, Mary, well, before we go on, I think you, uh, you did another wonderful job last year. You always do, and I really appreciate your uh, energy and your commitment. Thanks, Paul. Thank That's you so nice much. of you. Thanks. It's been a pleasure learning under you. Hopefully I can follow in your, uh, fill your shoes. So well, speak. we think on your 30th birthday it's time to give you the gift of the board. Oh, oh boy. Anyway, you are now in charge of the next agenda and the rest of the meeting. All right, our next action item is to establish a newspaper of record for 2013. Um, what I've done this year, I, I, uh, and I apologize for not actually getting it to you guys ahead of time. I normally, I think I normally write it on this agenda and I didn't, but I'm gonna continue with the Noseville Times. It's one of the papers, which we've always done in the past, but instead of the Indy Star, I'm going to go with the current in Carmel. I had a meeting with them to discuss this and the the main reason is a, I've been told that they reach the high, actually I've been told 100%, but I'm not sure they reach 100% of the, of, the, of, the, of the community, but they definitely reach a high number. So that way every time we have our meetings, every time we publish the budget and the annual report, more people will see it since it's through the current in Carmel. Um, and I just thought that was a good idea. Uh, if you guys feel differently and feel like, you know, you want to stay with the star, that's strictly, you know, um, I, that's fine. Uh, but from my standpoint, I thought maybe we could just reach a lot more people by going through the current Carmel and the times. Shall we introduce this then to? Do we have a uh, motion to accept those two publications as our newspapers of record? Uh, so moved. And I second. Discussion. Any discussion? Um, <coughs> no, uh, the understanding is it's just one, not both. It's both of them. Oh, it is both. The Times. Got it. Because okay. by rights, it's supposed to be a Democrat and a Republican paper, you know, right. okay. back against the law. And so that's, the Noblesville Times has always been that Democrat paper, and the, the, the Star has always been the, the uh, or actually, the Noblesville Ledger was the Republican. Right. Right. But now there's no more Noblesville Ledger, it's Indy Star. So, but so anyway, we're going with the current and karma. I think that's a good choice. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Hearing none, those, that is approved. The next item on the list is our 2013 Clay Township Regional Waste District Board Appointment Concurrence Letter. And I believe we have the gentleman here. You turn it over to Doug. Doug? Uh, yeah, um, every year we have an appointment, but um, I normally will bring somebody before you folks to 
to uh, uh, make a recommendation. It's up to you to concur with me or not. And this time I brought a Joseph R. Clark. Um, that's uh, you, you got his resume. You should have received his resume with the letter. Uh, I did ask every time I point somebody, I'd like for them to be here that you guys aren't familiar with. This will be his first, first appointment to the board, and I've asked him to come. So if you have any questions, if you, uh, if, you know, you want to ask anything from the agenda or the, his resume, it's in right before you. So I Mr. will turn it over to you folks if you have any questions. Mr. Clark, could you come to the sure. microphone? I think it would be nice um, to have you just tell us a little bit about your, your background. We have it written in front of us, but anybody who views this meeting won't know your background, and I think it would be nice for the community to know it. Uh, very well. Uh, I, had, uh, I got out of the University of Kentucky in 1956, uh, graduated from the University of Kentucky in 1956, with a degree in mechanical engineering. Went to work uh, at that point, I went to work for the old Conveyor Company in uh, Wolfsburg, Texas, and, uh, who uh, built airplanes, who built the uh, B 36 and B 58 airplanes long gone. Uh, left them, went to work for Union Carbide Corporation in Indianapolis uh, in a laboratory in Speedway, one of the principal, at that time, one of the principal laboratories of the uh, Lending Division. And got involved in, in businesses there. Uh, became general manager of a uh, of a business uh, which was uh, primarily dedicated to putting coatings, hard coatings on inferior base metals. We worked with the aircraft industry, uh, and, and they still do uh, uh, coating uh, jet engine parts. There, I went to the, uh, another laboratory that we had in electrical and engineering and manufacturing facility that Lindy still operates, although it's practice there now. The Lindy Division of Union Carbide, uh, several years ago, was spun off as an independent corporation. It's now called Praxair. Here, at, uh, the laboratory is there at Tonawanda, where we were responsible for the uh, uh, research and development of primarily air separation, uh, separating, bringing, taking liquid oxygen, liquid nitrogen, argon, those things out of the air. Uh, the, uh, and then I, I ran that facility, we also did the manufacturing of the, the plants there, and ran construction projects all over the world. I uh, left there and uh, went to, into headquarters as uh, vice president of the uh, wind division at that time in marketing there for several years, uh, came back here, uh, bought a business over in Terre Haute that was involved in, uh, in uh, welding equipment supplies and distribution of gases. Uh, that went uh, fairly well and we had an opportunity then to put together an employee stock ownership plan. I mean, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it was, uh, in fact, I think it was Kennedy, one of the ESOP. No, 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 but my I've had I've worked for companies that have had ESOPs. Yeah, this one was very, very successful. We were uh, employees on 55% of the company, and uh, but at any rate, uh, uh, Union Carbide at that point decided they wanted to get had decided they wanted to get out of the of the small distribution end of, of the gases. So we put together a, a, a company and bought their interest in the Midwest then, uh, and ran that for about seven years. I was chairman and, uh, and president and chief executive officer. And we were very successful and Praxair at that time decided they had to have it back so they uh, bought it back from us and that's kind of my professional career. Very interesting. Thank you for telling me and for the audience. Well, you come recommended by um, by our trustee, so that's good enough for me. We need to, we need to vote. Yes. I'll make a motion um, that we appoint um, Joseph R. Clark to the Clay Township Regional Waste District 
as our new appointment from the township board. Do you have a second? I will second that. Any more discussion? Not for me. Paul? No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Hearing none. That action item is approved. Congratulations, Mr. Clark. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, thank you. I look forward to serving on the board. Absolutely. And I'll say good night. Thank okay, you. Joe. Uh, next on our agenda are information items. Uh, 2013 Carmel Clay Park Board appointment. Doug? Uh, <clears throat> I, that is the information item because as a park board, I, I appoint any park board uh, uh, members from the township. So uh, I am going to reappoint Jane, James uh, Ingledale again. Um, Jim, I've talked to uh, Mark Westermeyer some of the park people and they'd love to have him back for another term and so I have no problem Jim's done a great job there um, he's been involved from parks since the I know early 2000s anyway so uh, I feel uh, comfortable in reappointing him uh, to the board I think that's a great appointment I've known Jim Engledow since high school, and he's a fantastic person, a good guy, and he's done an outstanding job on that board. Good idea. Terrific. Next up is the annual report meeting. It's, it's, uh, two weeks from the night, 6 o'clock, is our annual report meeting. Um, uh, the, uh, on your board of finance, just for your information, we, we've uh, moved some money. Uh, I kind of want to let you guys know this, uh, which we talked about before. But one thing that's delaying us getting the annual report earlier is the, the Fifth Third has on our, one of our accounts, they have taken, uh, it's taken some time to get the numbers from them, you know, on what our final numbers is. In, it, it's, a, it's a liquidity account. And so we're trying to make some money, you know, uh, with the way the, the interest is on our regular now account. We've put money into a liquid management account and it's it's taken a little bit of time to get in that so so we won't have that ready until probably about the 18th and 19th so you guys the meetings the 22nd so so uh just bear with us being the first year for this uh but i want to just give you a heads up on that i saw carl mills um recently no. at, at bob book's funeral uh -huh. and he mentioned um that things were different and offered to come in and speak to us about it if you would like him to mm -hmm. so and we might do that. We might have him come in because this is being the first year of this. And, and um, you know, I'm, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable as I hear and see and read and, you know, people tell me about it. But, uh, but you know, we've got to do some different things than what we've done in the past to make a little bit of interest. It's, it's unbelievable. When they talk about basis point, I, I'm thinking... Oh, that's a joke. Anything we talk about the basis point, you're talking about less than one percent. Of course, we all know it's bad from from that perspective, but we got to be a little bit creative and hopefully so. So that might be a good idea. I may have Carl or or, or his group come in to just to kind of maybe explain to the board of finance on the 22nd. That's probably a good I idea. I think that would be a great idea. Mm -hmm. Do we have any other financial questions from the board? I don't have any. Nope. <clears throat> any board comments? I would like to make one. I'd just like to say thank you for the opportunity to be the president over 2012. Uh, we always try to change among ourselves who the president will be so we all have that experience. And Paul has done great service in the past and we're delighted to um, have Matt take over for 2013. And um, I'd also like to thank um, our new uh, board member for the waste management district it's always nice to have someone here that's um, new and and will give us a, a little bit of history on himself so mr. Clark thank you very much um, I have no comment thank you I don't either any announcements Doug <clears throat> uh, just to go back to mr. Clark for a minute uh, he's gonna be taking the place of Ron Houck mm -hmm. all of you know Ron Ron's been on there a couple terms so that's who he's gonna be replacing on the waste district board uh, other, nothing other than that. Okay. Do we have a motion for adjournment? I so move. I second. Any discussion? No. <laughs> All, in All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.
opposed? We stand adjourned.